Hi. Now, a lot of you people are wondering out there how we came from a story about me having um, post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, multiple personalities manifesting in my hips to a story about my um, crazy sciatica pain. Well, I think uh, the video that follows will um, help you understand how the connection um, is with uh, emotion in muscles and uh, what's going on. That's really interesting. Um, so check it out. Hi. Um, today is uh, February 11th. So I'm, uh, I was just doing a, a passive stretch. I just started to do it where I lay on pillows to try to uh, just kind of give space through the vertebrae in my back. I just lie here. Um, and as soon as I started to lie here, stuff, you know, old stuff, uh, PTSD stuff started to come out. Um, so I thought I would um, video this. Um, I was surprised by it. I, I knew I know I have stuff in my hips, and I experienced them before, but but this was really intense. And as you can see, it's still working on me a little bit. Um, so I am just going to relax a little bit, um, document this a little bit, uh, um, and um, hopefully, you know, in terms of if I can allow it, you know, there there may be some obviously some of that old negative stuff in my hips. Well, I'm sorry. I love, I love to perform for the camera. There may be some stuff in my hips from years ago when I cured myself because obviously I'm accessing it now um, around where the trauma, the, the, where, where my, my slip disc is. So uh, um, this is not what I expected, um, but uh, I'm going to ride it out uh, in, t in terms of trying to relax that area of my body, which obviously has some trauma energy in it, which could possibly be what is keeping me stuck. So, now I've been here before, so I'm not afraid of this stuff, and I know how I, I could control it, I know it can go away, and, and uh, I realize it's just coming out of the thing, and I'm not going to do this too long, because I don't want to, I, I don't want to bring it back, but I, I think it, this may be part of the key to releasing those muscles around the area where I am where the uh, disc is herniated. So, I wish I had a better camera in this iPhone, but that's all right. It'll work. So that's the deal. I'm feeling a little tension in my back, so I'm just going to change my position a little bit because I don't want to aggravate my problem. Um, but part of me thinks that, you know, these, these very passive back bends, let me show you. See, I'm on a pillow here. That these passive back bends uh, will help open things up as long as I don't push it too hard or it starts to hurt. Um, I could be wrong, but anyway, talk to you soon. Bye. So I am uh, I'm still here. I'm just doing this passive stretch. Stuff's coming up. I just want to show you... Uh, my wonderful dog, Roma, our wonderful dog, Roma, who came by to uh, help me out. Here she is, lying on the pillow next to me. She's God's gift to, uh, to dogs or to, she's really one of God's angels. So I'm here, I'm just doing my passive stretches. Stuff's coming up, I'm breathing into it. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So um, I'm still lying here. Oh, here's Miss Roma. I'm still lying here, um, and I can isolate the area of uh, my lower back where there's a spasm that may be causing the herniated disc. I can feel it distinctly. My dog's walking down. You okay, Roma? Um, so I'm just going to film a little bit as I kind of breathe into that area. Oh, calm down, baby. You all right? It's okay. No, you're, you're protecting me. We're going to be okay. I love you. So I'm just going to, you know, take a minute or so to breathe into it, and uh, there may be some shaking and things like that, but we're used to it, but I'm going to use a lot of those skills I learned with Douglas um, during my people and hips experience, where I was able to release the muscles on a, um, on a really interesting level um, from just doing that work again and again and again. So it's time to use my people and hip skills to um, help myself out, see if this works. It doesn't make me a cripple, but... I don't think so. Okay. Enjoy. So I'm 
consciously now I'm bringing my awareness to that area and obviously there's some sort of trauma memory there um, I'm not afraid to go into it <laughs> if it's going to mean that I can release that area I have a walk into the gates of hell Oh, I see my father, I see, I see, um, image of, um, you know, going into the bathroom and getting spanked, interesting, that I, it's in my hip area. Um, breathe. I'm going to go back in again. I can feel the tightness. I can sense the tightness. Now there's no, there's no motion connected to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can climb in. There's just this, this post-traumatic stress stuff. Now I feel like I'm getting beat by, oh, who knows by what? It could just be coming from the movement, not from the actual muscle. So I'm gonna zoom in. feel where it's uh, constricted. I can feel where it, it's pulling on it. I'm going to bring my awareness there and let it relax. If it wants to, I invite you to let go. Okay, um, I'm going to take a little break here just because I don't want to go in too deeply. Um, talk to you soon.